critical component on the motorcycle which affects the rider's comfort and control are the handlebar grips. This is one of the main contact points between the rider and the motorcycle, also one of the most sensitive. The best riders in the world that you see racing on a Saturday night have been riding motorcycles their entire life, and they've been through hundreds of different grip styles and options and have figured out exactly what's right for them, the exact right outer diameter that fits their hand, their hand size, that's soft, that enables them to hold on to the motorcycle for the duration of their race. As riders experience arm pump, oftentimes it's your grip outer diameter or your grip compound that can lead to you holding on stronger than you need to or harder than you need to, and which will pump your arms up. So a bigger grip for somebody that has very small hands is kind of like holding on to the wrong end of a baseball bat. And the inverse could be true as well. If you have a really big hand and a really small outer diameter grip, you're over gripping and your hand will, can cramp. This is a full diamond pattern. As you can see, diamonds the entire way around the grip. And this is a half waffle pattern, which is the same pattern, diamond pattern, but with a waffle grid on the bottom for your fingertips. So when you're holding onto the handlebar, just your fingertips are contacting the waffle grid. This enables you to hold on to the motorcycle longer and with less effort. You can see the difference in the compounds and how stiff or firm they are just by squeezing them. Your soft grip is much softer to touch, uh, more tacky, and will be less durable. Your firm grip is much firmer to touch, but will also get more durability out of. We also have full waffle options, which is also really good in the event of a crash, especially at a sand race. Uh, if you were to dunk the end of your grip in the sand, a full diamond grip or a grip without any waffles, it'll become very slippery and hard to hang onto for the rest of the race. Same thing with mud or water or anything like that. So oftentimes, race teams and riders will put a full waffle grip on their bike based on the conditions. 